Like a lot of folks, I've been using the traditional style ratchet tie downs on my Yamaha for years. And I can't even begin to tell you how much agony these things have caused me. I hate using these. And last year, when I was in Oklahoma hog hunting, my buddy showed me a whole new system that I'm gonna convert my trailer over to right now and I'm gonna kick these things to the curb. This new system that I'm putting on uses a retractable style ratchet tie down that's really easy to put on your trailer. And once it's on, you got the system going, it's gonna be super easy to get your machine on and off so you can get rolling when you want to. No more messing around with the old style straps. And right now I'm gonna show you how to get this system installed on your trailer. Now, if you don't have metal on your trailer to drill through, you can always buy a sheet of metal for each of the anchoring points to help distribute the surface area a little bit more and give yourself a stronger system. In this case, I did have metal to drill through. Regardless, what you're going to want to do before you drill a hole is you're going to want to start a dimple with some type of punch. We used a nail punch and just hammered it to get it started so that when you send that first drill bit through, it's going to be a lot easier to get the hole started. And then when you step up to the second drill bit that matches the size of your bolt, it's gonna be really easy to get it through. It's not gonna be jumping all over the place. It's not gonna be a dangerous situation. You're not gonna scuff up your trailer. It's just gonna make a smooth channel with that second bit the size of your main bolt. Once you have that primary channel drilled, then you're gonna to wanna to grab your washers and your bolt, start with a washer on top, put the bolt through, another washer on the bottom, and then finally the nut. You're gonna to wanna to go about finger tight with that. And then at that point, Take a look at the buckle on top of the trailer. Here's where you're gonna to wanna to determine how you're gonna anchor the actual hook from the strap on your machine. And that's what will determine the angle you want for your buckle on top of the trailer. So once you've got that lined up and your strap is running nice and straight, make that final tightening move and you've got an entire new system for trailering ready to go.